Hi everybody, what is up and welcome to my channel. My name is Amelia and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. So later on today I'm going to a party and I wanted to give you guys the inside scoop on how I get ready for these kind of things like doing my makeup, my hair, and at the end you get to see the outfit I picked out and I will tell you where I bought everything. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I hope you guys right, enjoy. So we're going to go ahead and do um, my hair. And so I went off camera really quickly and I just parted my hair um, so I can go ahead and iron it by layers. Um, but because I did my hair like last night, um, I went and sprayed my hair with um, the Garnier Fructi Style Flat Iron Protection. So this is just the heat protector I use. Um, you can buy this like anywhere that they sell hair products. I get mine from Walmart. Um, yes. And then I just use my flat iron. It's pretty big and bulky. This is a Conair. Um, I don't know the style of it, but it's just this guy. And so I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this clip of me doing my hair. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and um, take a little break. Um, I don't have to get my makeup ready just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pick up my room a little bit. And yeah. So um, I like to start off with my brows. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm taking the e.l.f. 203 dual ended um, pencil brush, um, angled brush with spoolie at the end. And I like to just take this to scoop my brows up towards the sky. And then I like to take, well, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Soft Brown. And I just fix them up. And then I like place it on the back of my hand. I don't know how these like beauty gurus be doing their eyebrows and they come out like perfectly like me I blend my eyebrows like like so hard with the spoolie like I like go at it and I make sure that it's like blended and stuff like that and I like how like these dark edges like it's like this dark shadow around my brow that I have to clean up so with that being said I'm just taking that elf concealer I think it's the perfect blend it'll be linked down below um this with a concealer brush and I'm just going to use this to um, carve out my brows and clean them up. And then well, it looks like really dewy in that area because I just laid concealer down, but it'll get fixed, I promise. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and we will be right back. And so now with, um, so now I'm going to take this Chella um, brow gel in the shade clear and I'm just going to go ahead and comb this through my eyebrow. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to our face, which is our foundation and the whole nine yards. I like to make a combination because I hate how this um, primer looks by itself, like on my skin, like if I were to rub this into my skin. It looks like I put highlighter like all over my face. So I hate how that looks. So I'm actually going to go ahead and mix this illuminating face primer with my foundation. So, they're both from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Powder of Primer in the shade Radiant Glow. So I'm going to actually go ahead and I take two pumps. And then I'm going to go ahead and take two pumps of my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade um, Tan. And I'm going to go ahead and do two pumps of that. Oh, that was not. 
I'm running out. So I put the mixture on my hand and I'm gonna go ahead and take my JH03 brush, which is this like, looks like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix the two together. Yes. And then I'm just gonna take this and just go ahead and put it on my face. Then now taking my beauty blender, I'm gonna just take whatever is left on my hand, pick it up, and then just kind of tap my entire face. Just to make sure everything is really pressed into my skin. We're gonna go ahead now and conceal. I'm gonna use that same concealer we used for carving out our brows and cleaning it up to conceal my face. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to set our entire face. So I'm going to go ahead and take um, two brushes. So I'm going to take the JH07. So this is for like my under eyes and down like the sides of my nose. And then this big fat guy, which is my favorite brush because he's so soft, um, which is the JH01 brush. And this is going on the entire face, like the bigger, broader areas. And to set my face today, I am using the Cody Airspin powder, the same powder I will be using to bake. It's the only one I own, so yeah. We look matte but we look really 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 flat so we're gonna go ahead and bronze slash contour oh my god I almost broke my blush okay it's safe so I'm gonna go ahead and take the Hoola um, benefit by benefit bronzer and we're gonna use that to um, contour and to bronze our area I use it for both so I'm going to be taking this in the JH02 brush, it's a nice big fluffy bronzer brush. So now we're going to snatch our nose. So I'm gonna take the Luxie um, 207 medium angled shading brush to snatch my nose. Using the same powder and I'm gonna go ahead and bring my nose in. And then just to kind of like not make it look so drawn out, I like to take my beauty blender and just tap on the 
bronzer just to like settle it into my skin if that makes sense now taking that same beauty blender we've been using and i'm going to go back and dip into my cody airspun powder and we're going to go ahead and bake our face While we are baking, um, I like to go ahead and just take a wipe. Why do I just have a dirty wipe sitting here? Anyways, this is like the one I use to like wipe off the stuff off in the back of my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we'll start priming our lids and start our eyeshadow. I'm gonna take that concealer we've been using from the start. Can you tell that this concealer is like my holy grail? Uh, it's gonna come in maybe two or three more times throughout this video. Maybe one more time, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on my eyelid like that. Bring that one a little bit a little higher. And then it's gonna stay like that. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so then I'm gonna take my JH08, I almost said 48, I was like, my JH08, which is like this tiny little kabuki brush-ish. But I like to use this to blend in the concealer or like rub it all in. I need to find use for every single one of these brushes that I bought from Jacqueline. So I'm actually going to go ahead and wipe off this bait because I feel like I'm burning in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and take the JH35 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Code Jane, which is this shade here in the middle. I'm gonna go for a smoky eye and then I wanna do like the inner corner like a yellow because I'm wearing like yellow pants. Surprise. So this is gonna be like in the transition area. Um, it's a nice transition shade, so. But we're not, I don't wanna wing this out. I don't want this to be like a super complicated look. So we're just gonna go ahead and place this in our transition area. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dip into the shade right next to Code James, which is called 10% off on my JH33 brush. And we're gonna go ahead and blend that right into the crease. So now that these shades are on, I'm gonna really quickly go back in with that JH35 brush, not putting anything on it, and I'm just gonna kind of run it through the two shades to make sure that there is no harsh lines and it's all blended together. I'm going to go ahead and dip between the shades Boutique and No Beans. So I'm gonna mix the two shades together so boutique, no beans, and we're gonna mix these two together. And we're gonna use these to just kind of blend like everything together. I'm literally just putting this on my lid. I have no clue what I'm doing at this point anymore. Um, but yeah, we'll use this to deepen up the outer corner and blend it into the crease as well. And this is on my JH37 brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that concealer. I told you he was coming back. And on a concealer brush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer onto the lid. I'm not gonna do a cut crease or anything. I think it's gonna be like halfway, just to put shimmer on the inner part of our eyelid. I'm gonna go ahead and take that brush. Just because I apply concealer a little bit way too high, I'm just gonna take that brush that we just put boutique and um, no beans on, and I'm just gonna apply that on the top. Yeah. This is my last video. Um, when I like to apply shimmers on my lid, um, I start off by using my ring finger, and then I go in with a packing brush to kind of smooth out the layers. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take that shade so good on my finger. Looks like that. And we're gonna go ahead and tap it on. Wow, so pretty. So pretty. And take the JH31 and just to blend into the edge of the shimmer to make everything look like together and like blended i'm gonna go ahead and take the shade um i'm gonna take the shade benny over here and i'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of tea just to like lighten it out and we're gonna go ahead and put it on the outer part holy shit i just messed this up and no beans again and then we're gonna just layer that on top okay so now we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then i'll be right back bam i did that okay so um now that our eyelids are all complete we have to do um our lower lash line so to do that i'm actually going to i talked about this um in the last video um we're using a flat ended brush to really do the lower lash line so this is the jh43 go ahead and take the shade um 10 percent off and boutique together and i'm gonna go ahead and run that through our lower lash line And then now I'm going to go ahead and take that shade No Beans by itself and we're going to go ahead and rub that below. And then just to get the final thing, I'm going to go ahead and take the JH35 and dip into code James, which is that orange shade we used in the beginning. And I'm going to go ahead and blend the bottom out. I'm going to go ahead and put on mascara like I normally do. So we're going to do that. So my lashes don't look the best right now. I will have to go back again and fix them. Um, I had some technical difficulties. I like pinched my skin and started crying. So my lashes got wet and we all know how that works. No, well. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna go back to our face. We're gonna recollect and then we'll fix the lashes after. And I'm gonna go in with my Tarte. Um, 12 hour Amazonian clay blush in the shade Feisty on my um, JH04 brush. And then for Halarter, um, I'm going to use the JH09 brush. And I'm gonna use one of my broken highlights that I broke on accident. This is the Milani um, Day Glow. Uh, it's a luminescent, it's a highlighter, but it's from Milani in the number two or Day Glow. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this on. It's pretty popping, watch. And then I like to take the JH40 brush, which is the small brush here, and I like to dip this into the same highlighter. And I like to put this on my lip, the tip of my nose, and up my bridge of my nose. And then I like to take this in my inner corner and my brow highlight. And voila. So then, with that being said, I like to take my beauty blender, which I have to tap off some of the bake from it because I don't want like baking powder on my face. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tap down this highlight because 
it looks like it's coming out of like your pores and so that's what i really really love about doing this this step here like look at my nose it's still blinding even though it's kind of like pushed into my skin and it's not like bite go ahead and fix my lashes because i think they're dry now so a lip combo i really have loved doing lately is a matte lipstick with a lip gloss and these are both nudes so yes so when i do mattes i like to like put chapstick on my lips if not it gets like really chalky so i'm gonna go ahead and put the tarte tartis lip paint in the shade bestie on my lip Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take the Morphe um, lip gloss in the shade Boho and put that all on top. Okay, so <clears throat> my camera stopped recording, so I had to come like here. So that's why the lighting has changed and it's not look good. But we're just going to go ahead and set our face with the e.l.f. mist and set and... The nozzle broke, so I have to like rub it into my hand. So I just took like two or three spurts, and then I rub it, and then I tap it all over. So yeah, now our makeup look is all complete, and now let's go get ready. So this is the outfit right here. So it's this white tank top that I got from Walmart with these yellow um, pants. Then I have this cute like ruffling detail at the top and a tie which I paid $8.99 for at Ross, and then these white wooden heels, um, which were $19.99 at Ross. And I think they're so cute and like so stylish and such a statement piece. And then this Michael Kors bag, which I already own. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw a cardigan on top. So this is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. If you wanna see more videos like this, just leave a comment down below and give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to that big red button down there. And make sure to follow me on all my socials, which will have like a pop-up thing right here and will be mentioned in the description box down below. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this video and I would like to do more like this. If you have any suggestions or any other kind of videos in mind, leave a comment right down below. Um, I will see you all next time. Bye!